All right, this short video is going to be about misplaced modifiers. Uh, misplaced modifier is a phrase or clause that finds itself in an unintended spot and it ends up seeming to refer to the wrong part of the sentence. So let's take a look at our first example. This table was made by an old man with carved legs. When phrased this way, it makes it seem like the man has the carved legs and not the table. This phrase, with carved legs, is our modifier here. We need to relocate it so it's in a more logical spot. Now, see the difference. This table with carved legs was made by an old man. That makes more sense. Example number two. A man drove past in a Corvette that was completely bald. Now, obviously, cars don't have hair, so the car can't possibly be bald, but it's possible that he was referring to the tires. Still, though, it doesn't make sense. What the author intended here was to use the phrase, the modifier, completely bald, to refer to the man and not the car. So we need to place it near the word it's referring to. Here's our correction. Okay, here's our last example. Yo, what up? Chillin'? Jane stomped on the bug without shoes on. This implies that there would be more than one bug, and the one that was stomped on was not wearing shoes. Now, bugs don't wear shoes. So, we need to take our misplaced modifier and place it near the intended subject. Okay, here's our correction. Without shoes on, Jane stopped.